only children's hospice provider in Scotland for children and young people with life shortening conditions. It covers the whole of Scotland and we have two hospices. Robin House here has been open since 2005. The garden is a big attraction uh, for the families when they come to stay as it's very much seen as an extension to the house and a space for families to come and enjoy themselves and also get some space and peace. We chose to create a rose garden here at Robin House as it was one of the parents' suggestions and also roses are very scented so it's great for visually impaired children to come and enjoy the smells that they will get from the garden. Where the rose garden is positioned is just outside the parents' bedrooms. It would be a perfect space for them to come out and get some space and time and wander around with their family while they're staying here. It's been brilliant. Um, our experience at Robin House has just been completely different than we expected. Um, it's a place that's full of full life. We have a lot of fun here. There's so much um, for Ruben to enjoy here. Mm -hmm. um, he can do the hydrotherapy, he loves the sensory room, room, loves the garden. So we've had a really, really nice time and everyone's been been wonderful. I mean it means so much to us, it's such a, a beautiful place to come and visit, it's such a relaxing atmosphere, um, yeah it just uh, it really helps us and makes our life a lot better. I wanted to get involved today because it's a fascinating charity, the work that the charity do down here is absolutely immense and it was a privilege and an honour to ask to be involved in the charity today. I think the volunteers today are doing a great job, I think it's amazing that they want to get involved and they're giving up their own time and effort and that Scott Rail are letting us do this today. I think it's a lovely idea. I was a keen gardener in the past. Uh, unfortunately, I'm in a flat now and don't get the chance. So it's a good opportunity for me to get back out and get my hand back into a bit of garden again. I think the volunteer work they do here is fantastic. You've got the permanent staff, they have volunteers that come in on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, and then groups like ourselves that come in occasionally to help them with projects that they're working on, so I think it's fantastic, yeah. I wanted to get involved with rose planting because I stay local, and part of my job, the job, the, the area that I work in, um, is th this area so it's all local to me and a lot of the local people um, are doing a lot of charity work for Chaz and I always wanted the opportunity so this was a great opportunity for me. Scott Rail staff have actually been on really really well. Um, luckily they brought good weather with them and we've had a good laugh with them as well but they have worked incredibly well. To have volunteers like this is it's an absolute blessing to us to be quite honest with you. I mean although it seems there's not a lot of work getting done sometimes for us, that could be two to three weeks' work mm -hmm. for myself and the rest of the staff and the volunteers. So it, it really is. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful help. It's absolutely brilliant that Scott Rail have, are doing this fundraising and the people, the volunteers that have come along um, to, to help out because, you know, Robin House needs them. Mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't, you know, there's no other way really um, other than people helping out in that in that way. So it's great. And Rose Garden, it's fantastic. It's a lovely addition. It's, Beautiful, beautiful place um, and I'm sure the Rose Garden will fit right in.